Hi, Pastor Bill, Bethel Lutheran Church in Green Valley, and today is Monday. It is the 8th of June, and I do hope that uh, our video finds you doing well. We do begin with prayer. Almighty God, who created a living, breathing universe, an earth in balance, and the miracle of life. As we continue in this day, we choose to gaze upon the beauty of your creation, to see the glory of your kingdom, and to take in the wonders of your love. Lord, we give this day to you that we may faithfully serve you and love others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our reading today is from the first book of Corinthians, the twelfth chapter, the first three verses. Paul is writing, What I want to talk about now is the various ways God's Spirit gets worked into our lives. This is complex and often misunderstood, but I want you to be informed and knowledgeable. Remember how you were when you didn't know God, led from one phony God to another, never knowing what you were doing, just doing it because everybody else did it. It's different in this life. God wants us to use our intelligence, to seek to understand as well as we can. For instance, by using your heads, you know perfectly well that the Spirit of God would never prompt anyone to say, Jesus be condemned, nor would anyone be inclined to say, Jesus is Master, without the insight of the Holy Spirit. Here ends our reading. You know, there's uh, one phrase in here that might honestly shock us as believers, cause us as Christians to take a step back and say, well, oh, wait a minute, I'm not sure if I quite see it that way. And Paul writes, remember how you were when you didn't know God, led from one phony God to another, never knowing what you were doing. And we might say, well, I was baptized when I was a baby. I... I don't look at this as applying to me at all. I don't see this verse as being applicable to my life whatsoever. Paul's talking to somebody else. Well, it is true that we're claimed in Christ, we're claimed by Christ in our baptism. We become part of the family of Jesus in our baptism. But indeed, we go through life, we experience sin, we reflect on our sinfulness and what separates us from God, and how God is continually reclaiming and forgiving us. It's a process in which we understand that we are in a bond, in a relationship with Christ throughout our lives. For us to say that, well, we don't know of any time in our life when we've been away from God. We don't know any time in our life when we've sinned, and when we've sinned, and we don't know any time in our life when we've never been involved in wrongdoing. Um, and so we have each one of us. And not only that, but each one of us is guilty from time to time of being led from one phony God to another, in which we often allow our faith in God to be tested and to be questioned by our looking at other things which we feel are more important, which draw our attention. God wants us to use not only our intelligence, but the Spirit of God, which is on each of our hearts, to remain one with Him. And it's not our doing. It's because God reaches out to us, regards us as His own, and embraces us for, every time, for all time, for our lives and the lives beyond. Paul writes with conviction. He's sending this letter to the church in Corinth. He's saying, listen to me. These are words you can depend on because I'm sending you the message of Jesus. And if there's any message you can depend upon, 
It's the message of Christ. Amen. As we close with prayer, we remember those who are on our hearts, who are important to us. And we do so silently. And we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Celebrate this day in your life, a gift from God. Amen.